Hey yo, what's up my friends, it's Patrick here and welcome to this question and answer video here, part of my 100,000 subscriber special. As I promised you, um, I will do it. And yeah, you sent me a lot of questions, I got them on this paper here, here and there. And um, I will try to answer them as good as I can. And I think I will uh, divide this video here into two parts, so uh, that it doesn't get too long. And um, I guess the second part will be uploaded tomorrow, so stay tuned for it. And um, yeah, have fun with uh, this video here. I will answer the questions now. First of all, I will read the question and then I will try to answer it. So, let's start with the first question here. Um, why did you start doing YouTube and what motivated you to start? So, um, yeah. At first um, I did real life football compilations because I like to edit um, uh, a lot and um, yeah, I was very successful with it. I had millions of views on my uh, channels but um, after some time all these channels got suspended because of copyright issues and um, yeah, after I got suspended nearly 10 times or so I uh, started to think about stopping it and um, yeah, I like to share my work on YouTube and that's why I thought about an alternative and there we have this boy called um, Yepseth. Um, I guess it's not the right pronunciation, but I guess you know him, the FIFA legend with all those uh, great FIFA compilations. And then I thought, okay, um, as an alternative, uh, I can do FIFA compilations instead. And yeah, so I did. I bought an HD PVR to record my videos and um, started uh, started to do FIFA videos. And so it all came out uh, like it is today. Um, someday I started with uh, tutorials because I like to help out other people and um, yeah, so we are at this point here now and it all began with real life football compilations and um, the reason I started with uh, FIFA was because I got suspended that much times. The next question is, what are your 5 favorite football players of all time? So here we got um, yeah, many players to choose but I guess those 5 players uh, will be it. David Beckham, Ryan Giggs, Cristiano Ronaldo, Ronaldo El Fenomeno, Brazilian striker, and Ronaldinho. How old are you? Yeah, I'm 21 years old. Um, my birthday is on the 6th of March. What soccer skill moves can you do in real life? So, um, yeah, I think I'm quite good at um, skilling in real life, but um, yeah, the problem I have is that I can't combine my freestyle skills. Uh, when I uh, do a freestyle, when I try to juggle the ball, I can do all the skills um, around the world and so on, but I need some training to um, combine all those skills, but my ground skills on real life football are very good, I guess, and maybe I will do some videos about it soon. Do you like or follow any sports popular in America, such as basketball, baseball or American football? If so, what teams do you support? Um, yeah, I have to be honest with you, um, I don't have that much um, experience with uh, American sport because um, yeah, I don't watch it regularly. I only hear about um, basketball when I uh, speak to Meti because he's a big basketball fan. Um, he really likes to watch NBA matches, but I, got, I haven't got the time to watch that much American sport. But it looks very interesting, uh, the people uh, in the stadium there are so emotional. And um, I guess I, will, I should spend more time with watching American uh, sports. What do you use to record your videos? Yeah, I answered it in my first question. Um, I use an HD PVR to record my videos, but I think I will try to get an Elgato game capture very soon. Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo? Why and who is better? Yes, um, a famous question and um, yeah, I know that I can get a lot of hate when I answer this question now but I will give you my personal opinion about it, of course um, you don't have to share it but um, yeah, I give you my opinion now. So um, for me Cristiano Ronaldo is uh, better and the better football player. I really like Messi so don't get me wrong here but I think uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is better on his individual skills and um, he's better at long shots, headers, free kicks, he has more body strength and so on. I guess Messi is a bit better on passing, but if you would uh, compare those uh, two players in a challenge with, uh, I don't know, um, 10, um, ten uh, things to do, for example, long shots and so on, um, I guess Ronaldo would win it. 
And um, the big, um, yeah, the big advantage of Ronaldo is that he already proved himself in the Premier League, and uh, this is the uh, best or the hardest league to play in. And then he came to the Spanish league and also scored um, that amount of goals uh, more than Messi in one season as the left winger. Messi plays more forward, so it's a great achievement. And you can't forget that uh, Messi is playing alongside Xavi and Iniesta on Barcelona, and uh, those two players are outstanding. Sometimes I, I think, okay, you, you only need someone in front and they pass it to him and he only needs to um, shoot the ball in. So, um, yeah, for me, Cristiano Ronaldo is uh, better. He proved himself in the Premier League and I guess um, Lionel Messi would have a lot of problems if he would face West Ham, for example, or Stoke City in an away match in the Premier League. So, um, I, for me, it's Cristiano Ronaldo also because of his mentality. You can't judge anyone because of his, um, yeah, his behavior be, besides the play, uh, be, besides the uh, football pitch. Um, yeah, he's just a great footballer, Cristiano Ronaldo. For someone, he's um, arrogant or um, egoistic, but for me, he has uh, a great mentality to win every time. And yeah, I'm a big fan. You can hear it. And um, yeah, I still enjoy seeing Messi because he's also a magician on the body, does uh, things I've never seen before. So both players are awesome. Um, what is your favorite uh, thing to do in Germany? So um, yeah, Germany is known for um, having no speed limits on the highway or also call, uh, called Autobahn. As uh, maybe um, some English um, speakers will know it, Autobahn. This word is uh, common known there. And um, yeah, I like to uh, drive fast cars and um, yeah, cars uh, at all. So um, my favorite thing to do here is um, driving uh, the car on the highway because there's no speed limit. It's just awesome, my friends. Um, why do you support Man United? Um, yeah, um, a little story behind. Um, when I was seven years old, there was the Champions League final um, 99 where uh, Manchester United played against uh, Bayern Munich and I remember um, this day I came into the living room where my uh, grandfather was uh, sitting there watching TV and actually watching uh, the final of the Champions League and I came there and yeah here in Germany you um, yeah you grown up with uh, Bayern Munich because they are the best you were six or seven years old and yeah then you were a fan of uh, the best um, club here that's, um, that was normal, but um, then I came into this living room watching uh, the final and then I saw Man United winning in the last minutes and this impressed me so much that I became a fan of them. Um, actually, uh, David Beckham became my um, favorite football player then and from this point on I tried to follow uh, Manchester United every season and when Cristiano Ronaldo um, yeah, came out in Manchester United um, I yeah I watched every match from him so yeah Manchester United supporter um, since I was a child. Do you have a job beside doing YouTube? If so, what is your job? Yeah, YouTube is not my full-time job. Um, yeah, I have to clear that. And um, yeah, it's only my hobby because um, yeah besides YouTube, I'm um, in an apprenticeship right now for industrial management. And uh, my apprenticeship will end in January um, 2014, so only a few months to go. Um, I will have my exams in November, and yeah, this time will be a bit difficult because I want to play FIFA 14, but on the other side, I have to learn for my exams. But um, yeah, we will see. What do you want to be when you are grown up in terms of working? Yeah, um, I want to be in a position um, where working actually makes a lot of fun to me and um, yeah, where I have um, some challenges to do. Uh, maybe I will go to study something um, after my apprenticeship. I really liked, uh, like uh, geography or I also like the media just as um, yeah, YouTube or Facebook. Um, I really have to uh, think about what I do after my apprenticeship if I um, yeah, try to um, develop me in my um, yeah, job which I did in my apprenticeship or if I try to, um, yeah, to, yeah, to do something else. And yeah, we will see, I will let you know what I did. The next question is a bit uh, FIFA related again. Is it true that playing in your home team stadium makes your team stronger? Um, no. 
it doesn't. Um, yeah, I can uh, tell it to you because I played hundreds of matches against Meti and sometimes he was uh, the away team and um, sometimes I was the away team. And yeah, when you play at home, it makes no difference. Um, yeah, it's my personal opinion, but I guess it's right. Which part of Germany are you from? I'm from um, Cologne, near Cologne, uh, 13 kilometers away from it. I'm living on the countryside, as you can see on my several real life videos. Why don't you support a domestic team instead of Manchester United? Is it because you don't enjoy watching the Bundesliga? Yeah, I told you the story uh, where I became a Manchester United fan and why. So, um, yeah, I'm a Manchester United supporter, but I still enjoy watching the Bundesliga. Uh, the Bundesliga gets better every year now and now they, um, yeah, the Champions League winner is from the Bundesliga. I guess more people will focus on watching the Bundesliga now. And um, yeah, Saturday evening I like to uh, watch the highlights of uh, the um, whole day from the Bundesliga. So yeah, I enjoy watching it but I don't have um, a specific team here which I support. <laughs> Next question. Do you think uh, the next Pro Evolution Soccer game will be able to rival FIFA 14? <laughs> no, definitely not. Um, Patrick, do you believe in God and if so, what's your religion? Um, yeah, I believe in myself and my religion is football. Um, if it's a sweaty goal, do you care? Um, yeah, my friends, this is um, yeah, a very controversial question. Um, it depends on the situation, my friends. So, I have to say, if you give the op uh, opponent the chance to pass it in front of the goal, to score an easy goal, it's your own fault. Um, you uh, shouldn't allow him to have that much space. So, um, I, for me, sweaty goals are not that bad. But, um, yeah, sometimes, sometimes I um, yeah, can, can get really frustrated over it because, yeah, imagine uh, this scene here. Your opponent is running towards the goal alone with the striker. So no teammate is around him and uh, you are also not around him. So he's completely alone there, your opponent. No defender, no one. Only the goalkeeper to beat. Okay, and then he runs to the goal, completely left alone. And he runs towards the goal and right in front of the keeper, he plays a 20 yards or 13 yards pass back to the side on the wing. And this player puts it into the net. So... Those are uh, the moments where I can really, really destroy my PlayStation because if you do something like that, um, yeah, it's just not fun, it's not reality. If you pass it in front of the goal, it's no problem because then your opponent, um, then you gave your opponent um, a lot too much space so he can put it in. But if you're running towards the goal completely left alone and you're passing it back 20 yards, that's not realistic and I really hate that. And if you're only scoring those goals, I also hate that. If you play a match and all the five goals are scored with that, okay, maybe it's my fault, but it gets boring sometimes. I try to score with long shots and um, try to mix it a bit. Sometimes I also pass it in front of the goal. Yeah, it depends on the situation. Do you like cheese? <laughs> yes, I actually like cheese. Um, I like to do cheese on every meal I do. For example, pasta, pizza, or even uh, on a toast and then putting it into the microwave um, so cheese is awesome 